All right, so today in this AI video, we're gonna be talking auto GPT. So if you've used chat GPT, you know it's very powerful and you can use it for things like research and other things. So auto GPT is a GitHub repository that you can download on your desktop. You can plug chat GPT in on the back end using their API system, and you can run it through something like Docker or say Python. And then you can ask it questions, ask it business ideas, etc., and it will give you the output and it can even do web searches, which is very powerful. And that's something that, you know, OpenAI's ChatGPT can't do on its own. This video is a tutorial for AutoGPT on Windows 11 and using it through Docker. Um, so if you're using a Mac or other system, you're gonna have to go through a different tutorial. Um, so hopefully this will help you. Uh, please like and subscribe if this type of video interests you, um, and I'll make more videos like this. Thanks, let's get to it. So first things first, let's go to the auto GPT documentation and we're going to see that the requirements here are to choose an environment to run auto GPT, Docker, Python, or others. And the recommended environment here is Docker. So that's what we're going to use today again on Windows 11. Just click on the Docker link and get Docker for Windows. And so I'm just going to download the um, desktop version of Docker here and do the install and you will have to reset your computer I think in order to finish this installation um, so do be prepared for that as well. So all the default settings should be fine just click accept with Docker once it's installed and um, I have a fairly new version of Windows so when I open Docker um, I, it did throw an error about the Windows subsystem for Linux so I did have to um, get the newer WSL kernel version. It gives you the command to run in CMD um, and that will update it. So um, overall, this is a pretty straightforward fix. So just hit that start menu, type CMD, and you can run as administrator if you'd like. And what you're gonna wanna do is just copy and paste that code, WSL update into the uh, command prompt and click enter and it will update and fix the situation. Running Docker is now successful. You'll see that it's starting the Docker engine and then it will take you to the default uh, page with Docker and then you know you are ready to go move on to the next step in the tutorial. So for the next step, we're gonna wanna get a API key from OpenAI. So if you've used ChatGPT before, then you have a login. Um, so make sure you log in with your account. You're gonna to wanna to go to manage account and billing. You're gonna to want to attach a credit card because it will cost you, you know, a couple cents for um, some of the transactions you're gonna do with ChatGPT um, with its API that you're gonna plug into this program. So I'm going to log in. It's going to remember who I am. I'm going to go to my settings, API keys, and then I'm going to see the API keys I currently have. What I'm going to want to do here is click on the create new secret key, and I'm going to want to uh, name that key, and I don't want to share it with anyone. So uh, make sure you just keep this private key to yourself. Do not share on the web, etc. And you're going to want to copy this key to a Word document or a notepad document or even, you know, put it in your Google Drive, etc. Um, just so you have this available so you can plug it in um, to your application. So in my settings again, I'm going to have to add my credit card now. So just say set up paid account. I'm going to say individual, put in my information and go from there. So I have an API key, I have a paid account now. So at this point, I am good to set up auto GPT with Docker. The instructions are right here, um, but I will walk you through them um, so we can do it correctly. First thing it wants you to do is make sure you have Docker installed, which we've done. And then step two, you can see in the command lines, you can say make directory auto GPT and then CD auto GPT to get into that directory. So we can do that very quickly. We're basically just making a folder in C users, your name, and we're making a folder called auto GPT. And then step three, it wants us to create a file called docker-compose.yml. But we're gonna go off the beaten path here and do something a little different. Um, so this gets a little bit easier because there's been a lot of issues if you follow these steps as instructed. So we can just copy and paste the command straight from this site. Um, we made a directory called auto GPT. We've now gone into that directory and we can see that we're there. And at this point we can open it in Windows if we'd like and work from there. 
So we're in the folder AutoGPT that was created. We're gonna double click up here and type CMD and it will automatically open that folder in the command prompt. And then once that's done, we're gonna type in the following command and it's going to automatically download um, everything we need from GitHub with respect to AutoGPT. So you'll see that there is a AutoGPT folder now within that folder and all the configuration files are there. So at this point, you can open that file and what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna click in Windows, the view hidden files, and we're gonna wanna find the um, environment files. So if we show hidden items, you should see a .env template somewhere um, and make sure that you modify that file. So I'm gonna actually copy the .env template and create a new file. I'm gonna rename it just .env. So here's my copy. I'm gonna rename that. Um, I'm gonna say just .env and I'm gonna open it in um, a WordPad or similar program. So I'm gonna open with. Uh, notepad will work so I'm gonna say just once and um, if we look at the instructions um, from the main page there we're gonna see that there uh, is a place to put our open API code and it should be next to the open API key function that's in that file so search for that and then copy and paste that key that you got previously again don't share that with anyone else um, but put it in this configuration file so it can pull in OpenAI's uh, ChatGPT within this construct at this point in our command prompt we're back in the auto GPT folder run the command docker compose build auto GPT um, that will run for a few minutes um, and after that, everything will be set up with AutoGPT. And then um, step five, our last step, um, we're gonna run another command that is docker compose run, rm auto get, and then we'll be ready to run AutoGPT. And so let's run that last command. And now we're gonna see that AutoGPT is now running within our command prompt and you can see that it, it'll give you some updates here um, and then just press enter to continue and then ask AutoGPT what you want it to do. And so for this example, for this video, I'm gonna say explain what an angle of repose is. Um, and so it's gonna sit there, I'm gonna press enter. It's gonna think about how it wants to solve this problem for me. So AutoGPT is gonna come back and say, okay, um, here's the role I'm playing, here are the goals that we want, and here's what I think we should do. And so it's gonna sit here, it's gonna think for a moment, and then once it's done thinking, it's gonna say, hey, this is what I think we should do. I'm gonna make a file um, uh, within your directory, and it's gonna have the answer to what you're looking for. Do you want to let me do this? And there's like a yes, no, press Y for yes, and for no um, to continue. And that's useful because of course, you know, it's gonna cost me about a penny because I'm using the OP open API interface here um, to, you know, run uh, chat GPT within this construct. So basically it's showing me all the goals, um, how it's gonna speak. And then at the bottom here in blue, it says next action command equals, and it's gonna say it's gonna write to a file it's gonna tell me where that file is gonna be. It's gonna be a text file called angle of repose. And it's gonna tell me all about what it's gonna do. And it's gonna say, hey, um, press Y to continue, etc." So that's the next step. So please like and subscribe if you're interested in more tutorial videos on how to use AutoGPT. But in terms of where to find the output, if you go to the AutoGPT folder and go to support and you go to the workspace folder, I'm gonna see that angle of repose text file, and here is the output from AutoGPT. It does the research for you, it can use the internet, and it can find all the information for you and spit it out in a nice format um, that you choose. Um, so again, hopefully this video helped you installing and running AutoGPT. Um, again, if it helped you, like and subscribe, and if you wanna see more videos like this, um, just throw me a comment in the comments below. Thanks for watching.